Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Positioning Lesson 5 and in this video we're going to start looking at clearing floats. Alright then gang, so you saw in the last lesson that when we floated an element it took it out of normal document flow and then whatever was under that element scooted upwards, alright, because the floated element no longer occupies any height in normal document flow. Now, to demonstrate this point, what I want to do is surround all of these service divs with a div in itself. So, let's give this a class of services, and then take that closing tag and put it at the end. Alright, so now, if I click on this services div, you're going to see this blue line over here. Now, that has got no height, right? And that's because these things right here essentially have no height as well in normal document flow. They've been taken out of normal document flow, so all of this essentially has no height in it. All right, which is why this is showing as zero height as well. Okay, so let's imagine we have more content under these three services. Let's do another div with a class of content. Then within that, a h2. And then we'll just say content, and then I'm just going to paste some lorem ipsum down here within p tags. Um, oops, not that. Let's grab it from over here. All right, copy that stuff. All right, perfect. Now, what I want to do is give this a background color, this div. All right, so this content class right here will grab and copy it, paste it down here, and we'll give this a padding of. 20 pixels and then, or 10 pixels rather, and then a background of, let's just say CCC, all right? Now then, you can see here guys, that this content box right here is stretching to the top of these services, right? The text is underneath, browsers are clever enough to work out that we've got floated elements above it, so we don't want the content to be hidden behind it, but the element itself, which is gray, this background color of CCC is zooming up behind those services. Now, I don't want that. I want the gray box to start here, all right? And to do that, we have to clear those floats. We have to say to the normal document flow, hey, there's floats above us which we want to clear, and we're going to restart normal document flow after those floats, all right? So that is the clear property in CSS. So what we could do is say the content clear both, right? And that's going to clear both left and right floats. Now, if I just wanted to clear left floats, I'd say clear left. And if I just wanted to clear right floats, I'd say clear right, right? Now, there's no right floats here. They're all floated left, so it's not clearing anything at the minute, which is why it's jumped back up here. But if I put this back to left, then it comes back down. All right, so that is how we clear those floats and resume normal document flow. Now, this has a flaw, right? Imagine now I wanted to put a margin at the top of this element. I could say here, right, margin top 50 pixels. But that's not doing anything whatsoever. And if I inspect this element right now, let's come down here and expand this. Services content, you can see this margin there is at the top in the orange, but it's not starting at the bottom, right? I could even change this to 100. Save that and refresh. And this is still not giving it any additional margin. The margin is just stretching up behind those services, okay? And that's because this has not fully worked yet. Yeah, it clears the float to some extent so that we can restart normal document flow and the element under it kind of starts beneath it rather than going behind it. But we can no longer apply a top margin to it. All right. So there is a technique or rather a couple of techniques that we can use to solve this problem. The first one and the slightly older one and more crude one, which a lot of people use, is to put a div or a, an empty um, element below the floated elements like this and say div style equals clear both like that all right and then 
if we save that and refresh, now we get that margin. All right, so we've got this empty div, which is just sitting under these services, and it's saying, hey, clear both left and right, right now, so that I can resume normal document flow. So now, this content right here is having that margin applied to it because the, the, uh, the floats have already been cleared, okay? Now, I don't particularly like this method because it just means we're entering unnecessary code into our HTML. I don't like that, it's unsemantic. So what I'm gonna do is show you another way. And what I'm gonna show you, let's save that and refresh over here first. What I'm gonna show you is this thing right here that I did with the wrapper, right? But we're gonna do it to this services class. So what I'm gonna do is target that services div, and then I'm gonna say after, which is a pseudo class. And remember that means that after this services div is gonna place something right here, right? We're gonna say content is nothing. Uh, but if I wanted to, I just to demonstrate this, I'd say hello, I'm gonna save this and refresh over here. Now you can see afterwards the content is hello. That's been placed right here. Now I go through this after pseudo class in CSS for beginners. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that video down below. But essentially what I'm going to do guys is just put some empty content in right there. And then I'm going to say display that as block and then clear both. So essentially we've kind of dynamically added something in right here, which is going to clear all of these elements right here, all of these floated elements, right? So let me save that now, and I'm gonna reopen this link. And now we can see that margin is there, that 100 pixel margin, right here, yeah? So if we change that to 50, it's gonna to reduce to 50. So now we can use that margin. There's no extra code in here. And also guys, if I click on this services now, you can see it's got the full height, and that's because we did this thing in the CSS right here. We kind of injected some empty content here, which has cleared all of these floats, okay? And the empty content is coming at the very end of this services div. It says after right here, but actually in the code, if I inspect the element, let's come down here. Blah, blah blah services you can see this is the services thing right here yeah we've got these three divs right there one two and three and then this is the after pseudo class that's where we put in the code okay and we're saying give it some empty content display it as block and clear both so it's clearing all of these three elements within that services wrapper so now the services shows a full height if i was to delete this right here can we get rid of it? No, but let's let's just get rid of all these things right here. Okay, now the after is gone, and if we hover over this, it's still got zero height. Okay, so that is the power of this rule right here, and this is the way I like to do things. So that is clearing floats, guys. It's a little bit complex at first, so if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the very next video.